Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to finish our uh, path uh, mate options and everything else that goes with that. And I thought I can get it done in one video, but it was just too long, and sorry about that. So we are in two videos, and this is the second one in the series. What we didn't do in the last video was close the sketch out, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and rebuild it. And we have a couple sketches showing. We have our base sketch that we use as a reference for our path sketch. We're going to go ahead and turn that off, or hide it. And now with this sketch, we're going to go ahead and rename that and call that, if you can guess, path. We're going to call that path. Let's go to, go to rebuild, close it out, and yes, we want to save it. Now what's different about our, uh, our, our uh, assembly that we didn't have before is we do have a path in here that's uh, visible that we uh, actually drew before. We need uh, that we sketched before, by the way. Let's go ahead and open up the shifter, the bottom of the shifter, and let's put a point in the bottom of that. So if we go to sketch, go to sketch, go to point, put the point at the end of where the projected origin is, go to green check mark, and we should be in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and rebuild that, and let's call that, let's call that point. Close that out, and go to yes, and there we have it. So now we have two components, one with a path, one with a point and we want to do the path mate. So let's go to mate and let's scroll down to advanced mates and we want to do the path mate. So this is kind of tricky. It uh, didn't really show me the top of it but it's asking for two different elements here. Component vertex and the path. So obviously the vertex is going to be that point. I'm going to select that. Drags us down to the path. We're going to select our path and what it's going to do is it's going to go on to that line and that line only we can continue to add lines to that, but that doesn't really quite work. So let's do this. Let's go to Selection Manager. It gives us a little dialog box, and it gives us a couple different choices besides closing it. Uh, we can select a closed loop, which we don't have, or unless we select an edge, it'll, it'll give us that closed loop. An open loop, which allows us to reselect that line, and you can see the preview of the line. It's all orange. That shows us our, our, our selection for that. And a couple different options by selecting a group and selecting a region. But let's go ahead and select that line again so it gives us the whole path. And at the very end, it's giving us a tangent option. Not certain what that is, but uh, let's go ahead and do the green check mark. And green check mark over here. And now we're in pretty good shape. Let's get out of the mates and see what that looks like. Now, if we grab our shifter, our shifter follows down that path. Kind of fun. It's not really going up that other path, so let's be a little bit careful about that. Bring that down, wrap it around the corner up here, and then we can go straight up here. Oh, let's jump a little bit. It takes us up to the top. So that's kind of a kind of the problem with some of these lines if they're really close. They have a really close teardrop down here, but you do want to make sure you have a continuous path and not a terminated path or lines that kind of uh, connect and intersect with each other because it uh, might cause problems with regard to your path. But you might get results you may not like. So that's the path, mate. Thanks for joining me. Join me for other videos.